Welcome back to the WHHI TV Daily News. Joining me now is Christian Sherbert, and he is the treasurer for the Beaufort Charities. And we have a very big event coming up this weekend, which we're going to get to in just a minute. But Christian, before we jump into um, the big event, talk to us a little bit about just the background of Beaufort Charities. Well, thank you for having us on. The Beaufort Charity started 48 years ago as a golf tournament. And in that period, we've grown to be a legitimate 501c3. We've given over $2 million to local nonprofits. Wow. The key thing is we have zero employees. Every single one of us is a volunteer. And uh, we have 30 plus giving partners we give to a year. We gave a little over a quarter of a million dollars last year. to got us over the $2 million mark. So we have a, just a fantastic organization. People who put service before self. That is amazing, really, truly. And so we do have the event that everyone looks forward to all year, and that's Palooza in the Park, which is, I, I'm assuming, your biggest event of the year. So tell, give us all the details, because there's a lot here. Yeah. Well, it started 19 years ago as the Oyster Roast, and that's still the big component of Saturday, but we've expanded it into Friday, and we call the whole festival the Palooza in the Park. So on Friday, you can come out, gates open at 4 o'clock. There'll be food trucks from local vendors. And we'll have um, Mike Ponder, who's now a nationally recording artist, he used to be Still Rail Express from Beaufort, so it's starting out with a local. And then we'll have 20 Ride, which is Zach Brown Band, and that'll go from 4 to 10. And that's going to be just a fun night of dancing. Hopefully a big crowd comes out. Yeah. Hopefully the weather holds off. We do do a rain or shine event because the monies do go all to the nonprofits. So anyone who wants their money back, we're glad to do that. Anyone who wants to leave the money, know that we're giving it to a good cause. Um, and all the money stays here locally. And then on Saturday, that's the Oyster Rose. That's the one that has become just the mega thing. We have anywhere between four and 5,000 people a day show up for that. Wow. It goes from 12 hours from 11 to 11. We have all the local schools, EMC, the Civil Air Patrol. These young kids come out. They're the volunteers. They get to see what we do and learn about giving to your community. And the giving partners are there. And our sponsors are there. And they all get to see from top to bottom what we do, so does the local community. We're gonna have opening with Band of Oz, a great shag band for the Myrtle Beach area. Then we're gonna do the Wildflowers, which was a Tom Petty cover band. I'm really excited about those guys. <laughs> and then when everyone's had a few libations and the day's getting long, and we've had a couple auctions and they're just about to go get their kids from the free kid zone, we'll have Elton John come on doing some of his favorites. It's called the Rocket Man Group. So that's gonna be, I think, a great day. And we're looking like the weather's going to hold off on Saturday. Again, it's a rain or shine event. The production people handling the bands will let us know if we need to shut down for any reason. Well, I mean, that sounds like a very high energy event. And my goodness, 11 to 11. So all day, that's fantastic. What are the ticket prices and how does somebody get a ticket? You can go to Eventbrite or you can go to BeaufortCharities.org or you can see one of our local nonprofit organizations such as uh, Kappa, CODA, Alzheimer's Foundation. There are several of those. They're listed on our website. If you buy any ticket for them, the $30 for Friday, $60 for Saturday. That includes admission. But then if you want to buy beverage or food, we have $20 unlimited beer tumblers for beer and wine. We have those for each day. Um, but the point is to come out, see these bands, support your local nonprofit organizations, have some fellowship in the community, see what's going on. And of course, the best oysters in the country are the Beaufort oysters, and we'll have as many as you want. I think the real trick to our event is when you come to our event, you never have to wait for a hot oyster. They're there all day long for 11 hours. We call those guys the steam team. <laughs> I love they that. They get an 18-wheeler full of oysters. I've never seen anything like it, 550 full bushels. Wow. So I can't say enough good stuff about it. You can tell we're a passionate group. Come out see what we do when you're there. You can find out ways to volunteer, who we donate to, and how to jump on board our bandwagon. Well, I'm, it's, again, it sounds like a fantastic event. Thank you for everything you are doing in the community. We appreciate you being here to share about your organization and about the Palooza in the Park. Hope it's a great success, and fingers crossed that that weather holds off. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thanks to everyone on the show today for their insights and contributions. As always, our production team is behind the scenes to make all of this possible. And of course, we are honored that you have chosen to share a part of your day with us. I'm Betsy McDaniel, and we'll see you for the next WHHI-TV Daily News.